So I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I thought I was recording. What I did is I took some Mod Podge and a paintbrush and I applied it all around and um, I had to go in and burnish it again because you st when the Mod Podge hits it, kind of lifts it up with air bubbles so you have to run your finger in. But neat thing about that is that if you do that, um, you get more textures with your fingers and so I kind of like that look. Now after um, I put the Mod Podge before it dried up, I took some of the Donna Salasar, which is one of my favorite twinkle dust and um, sprinkled some around all the way around the entire house. As you can see it's shimmery. Um, it's still a little bit wet. Um, my last final step, and like I said, I do apologize for that because I thought I was recording. Then I looked up and I'm like, oh, MG, I didn't record that part. So, but it's not very hard. Just, you know, take a paintbrush or something and apply your Mod Podge while it's still uh, wet. Um, go ahead and sprinkle some twinkle dust and it would look very glittery and shabby, you know? All right, so I'm gonna take my heat gun and kind of nuke it a little just to speed up some of that. Although some of it's already kind of dry. I just want to touch and make sure some of it is dry, some of it isn't dry. You don't want to put too much glue because remember, you don't want to remove anything. All right. So then go ahead and grab your, ooh, sorry, distress ink. I'm always knocking something down. And get plenty in there. You want to get plenty and start distressing. And this Mod Podge is almost like a, um, what do you call it? Like a wax, you know, when you do furniture and, um, with the furniture, like the chalk paint, um, if you wax it and then you apply a stain, it just, the wax allows you to be able to uh, apply your stain in there a lot smoother. So that's what this is doing. So I kind of like this. The paper to me was too new. Um, but another idea if you don't want to do this um, and you still want that really old shabby look, um, you know, if you want to skip this little process, um, you can. Um, you can coffee dye your paper and get a really vintage look as well. Um, I like this look. So I'm going to go in here with my fingers. Areas that I can't get in with. So really like so see that just to me it's a lot more than just plain old plain old it's too boring for me it is not as i would say a me house <laughs> i like to be able to take my distress ink and make it look old get like a nice little old vintage chateau okay see that look how dull that looks that looks so plain but I like this side better it gives it character Like I said, you can, if you want, copy dye your paper if you want it, make it look vintage and not go through this step. I like this step. I wish my daubers were a better quality. I know not to order from there next time. Okay. Make that paper not so new. 
don't need a lot of glitter. Just didn't want, I, didn't, I didn't like that new paper look. There was something about it just did not speak to me. Had to speak to me. Had to speak to me. Okay. Floor is full of glitter. But that's a crafty. All right. So then I have this trim. And I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put that around there in my house. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the side of the house, but I do know I want the front of the house. So I'm just going to do the front right now. Crease it right there. A little, make a little small pleat. Trim it. So this one's cut. I want to make sure I don't cut. The button is off. So get back. Piece of sticker. Leave it to Holly Lobby. Leave it to Holly B Lobby. Okay. Not sure if I like that front, but we're going to be putting something there anyway. So. We're going to put this little flower applique there. And then let's work on the front of the house. Again. Put your bead of glue down. Come down. Kind of hard for me to do this, ladies, in this angle. I guess I could lay it flat. Right off. Our blue web's gone. And let's get another. Maybe 
be looking for something I wanted to put instead of having that window. Some, something beautiful there. So, we're looking, we're looking, and we'll see what we find. All right, so let's put another cluster up here on the chimney. Not the chimney, the top of the roof here. Pretty. Very pretty. It's going to be a pretty chateau. And then you can add another cluster, but I don't want to do that. I think it'll be too much. Let's see. We could probably add a cluster on each corner. Let's see. Now, let me see. I got one more idea. Nope, that's too much. And I know when it's too much. Let's put some of this along here. So we're going to add a bead of this thin flat back along there. Making sure I'm recording because I wasn't recording before. Snip that. And do another bead here. can, if you want, lift this up and put a bead of glue, and that's what I'm going to do, just to bring out the pearls up here. I'm going to do small sections so I'm not letting it dry up. I am a stickler for making sure things are aligned symmetrically right. And then it's like my Roomba has been up working. So if you hear a sound, that's my Roomba. Looking pretty. And then we can probably add, you know, just to decorate here, we can add little strands here. And we're going to do that. This side, I 
phase. It is like four in the morning. I've been working here trying to get this done for y'all. So let's see where else we're going to put some pearls. I think everything looks beautiful with pearls. I'm a pearl kind of girl. I love pearls. Love, love, love pearls. I'm going to glue that down a little. It's my favorite. Not much of diamond or anything like that, but I do love pearls. And then more over here. I got a little scared there. My screen went a little black and I thought, oh my gosh, it stopped recording. No way. I'm a pearl kind of girl. I love it. funny little glue webs out. You know, the shutters uh, kind of remind me of, um, gosh, when I was in high school, my mom made me, uh, my senior year, we had moved into this old farmhouse where my dad worked. And my stepdad, not my dad. And anyway, um, and she she asked me to wallpaper the bathroom, and it almost looks like the wallpaper from our bathroom. It really does. It's just a coincidence. That's probably just a coincidence. All right. Let's zap some of these glue webs because they're starting to be annoying. Glue webs are annoying. Okay. So, what else do we need? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the top of the roof. Just lay a bead of glue of the roof of the chimney, sorry.
everything comes through with beautifully with some beautiful pearls. I'm going to sap some glue, little glue bunnies that are lingering around. And I would have to say this baby is almost done. Some blue bunnies. We have lots of little blue bunnies around here. Okay. So I'm really wanting to do something with that window, but that pearl is not going to do it for me. That, if I had the silver one, would be fine. If I didn't have that big old one there, I'd be... I wish I had this one in the silver. I don't know why. You know what? A doily will be back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I thought about putting this little doily here with a cluster, but I thought, okay, that's too much because I have a dangle here. Um, and then I thought of putting that dangle up there, but I thought, okay, that's too much too. And then I like that one. So we're going to go with that up here. Make it look like a little star. Remove that. Then I thought, okay, we're gonna put little clusters on the side of the house to make it look like little icicles or whatever you wanna make it, whether it's a all year round Christmas house or um, I think it'd be cute for an all year Christmas house. I don't have to take it down and it looks like it's a Christmassy house. So it will be like that, not pretty. And we'll do the same thing back here. And we'll add some clusters to the side. If you have any of those Tim Holtz little trees, uh, bottle brush trees, that would be cute to put on the side of it too. And then I'll put the smaller one of this here because that's all I have. A little different, but it's all right. So then I put a tassel hanging down here, just like that. I thought that was cute. And then I put, of course, you guys saw the dangles, and I thought, I think that's adorable. Um, if you have a little Tim Holtz bottle brush tree, you can add the little bottle brush trees to it. Um, as far as the window, we can put... Um, what do you call it? One of these in there to accent that window pane. Let's see what it looks like first. Well, or you can put, you know, some pearls down the side if you want to accent the side of the house. And in fact, I think I like that idea. So we might, we're going to do that. We're going to do it. And these are tiny enough that they're just perfect for this kind of stuff. All out in pearls, that's, that's it.
Let me get my Tim Holtz little tiny precise. That's just so beautiful. Isn't that pure, pretty? Amazing what you can do. I have not been so shabby lately. I'm more designing than I have been creating, so it's pretty fun to be able to sit down and actually make something. And last year's houses, I put them up, and gosh, I get so many compliments on my houses from last year. Um, people are always asking me about them. Let me come over so that, and then we want, we can even put along the side here. Let's see how that looks, because I got to look. But I do like the distressed look of that. No, that's too much. Too much. You and I know when it's too much. Okay, so let's go on this side because we want to make sure those sizes are evil, even, not evil. So my suggestion to you, if, if you're going to put this on, make sure you put it on before you put the the trim that you're going to put on the rooftop because it is a little tricky. And I think this will do it. Um, this about do it for me. I think that's shabby enough for me. Okay, that about do it. I think that does it for me. Let's snoop some of these little blue monsters because they are a pain in the booty. do it for my house. I think it turned out really pretty and I hope this inspires you guys to create one and um, just make sure that um, you cover your insides before you glue your panels and make sure that your hinges are one and a half by four and three quarters scored in the middle and once you have your walls up then you put your hinges then apply your um, outside paper and also another reminder, don't forget that on your um, shingles, the fifth one, move it up just a tad bit higher than um, the other four. So that way you have room for all 12 pieces. So um, again, shingle, last fifth one, move it up higher. That way you can bend this one in and put it perfectly in. So that is my little shabby chic house. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, ladies. Bye-bye.